I think it's really great. I think it's about time that this happened nationwide. It's been happening state to state, but I think this was just, you know, a long time in the making. I'm sure people, there's going to be people that have a problem with it, but, you know, there's a lot of people that, you know, are totally for it, like me. We were um, at the pizza shop, and he got a, a message on his phone, mm -hmm. and, yeah, that's how we heard about it. We're kind of going to be the platform for more, that, like the, the community of being more relationship-wise rather than hookups. I think a lot of more relationships are going to happen because people are, you know, finally excited and are able to, you know, marry the love of their life and not just date them. So I think it's going to be more long-term relationships for that type of community. Started in Massachusetts, right here in Massachusetts. <laughs> has now spread through the entire country so everybody's marriage is recognized in all 50 states throughout the country. That's just awesome. Uh, this is not a day for us to have prepared speeches. We're just excited and we wanted to gather and market here in Northampton as people get off work and come around. People should have a chance to belong. You belong. You have the same rights as everyone else. Well, we first met when I was a camp counselor and she, she was, was a camper counselor. years ago. And our lives went in very different directions, and we kind of came back together 16 years ago at a camp reunion. And, and we got married in Connecticut. So it's been great ever since. First we had a commitment ceremony, then a, then a, what was the other? Civil union, and then a wedding. So we have three we're rings. Three, so we're, <laughs> we're, we're pretty well together. We're legal. <laughs> I think it's wonderful. It's long overdue, and uh, I'm really happy for everybody that um, this affects. I think it's a long time coming and I'm happy about it. I feel like it gives my children more options that maybe I didn't feel like I had growing up. You know, why shouldn't this have happened many years ago? And I think it's about time, it's 2015, you know, I'm glad I grew up in the era where love is being expressed and love is being accepted. It's, was that, it's actually sort of hard to wrap my head around the fact that we had like a law preventing this. Yeah. Um, and so it's actually really exciting that the Supreme Court decided to like give equal rights in this specific area to LGBTQ people. Um, so it is a really exciting thing. Yeah, I mean, I think too, it's easy to forget um, how far we've sort of come in this issue. And, I, and it seems like something that should just exist um, for all people anyway. And so, but I think it is important to recognize that this is a huge deal. And only 10 or five years ago, this was something that, you know, people was adamantly opposed. And now, you know, the Supreme Court has, um, said it is a human right, so I think that's great. I had been feeling very despairing about this country uh, b related to recent events. And while I still have despair, I think the, this, this hope does grow up within me when there are significant and meaningful changes like we had today with the Supreme Court decision. Yeah, it gives me hope. And it balances out the despairing feelings. And I can do both. It's very hard when there's a whole lot of despair and a little hope, but this, this helps me a lot. And the world, I think it helps the world. Other people in other countries will see this. Ireland survived, Mexico survived, the United States will survive also. Oh, I love that. Thank you.